Hey, everybody. So I just got this letter, and I thought I'd read it to you, because during a time when I was kind of wondering, why do I put all this effort in? Is this really worth it? Stuff like this comes in that reminds me, yes, it is. Hi, Lewis. I made some stickers which are near impossible to remove. I hope you will like them. But there's more. Sometimes now and then you mention you ask yourself why you put so much effort in all these educational videos which barely get 10,000 views. Through the entire course of my life, until the beginning of 2016, I was absolutely sure that there is no way in hell I will understand how complex digital circuits work, not even mentioning designing these circuits. I still don't think I will continue doing this for a living. I'm actually a programmer and graduated as a software engineer, and I've already invested quite a significant portion of my life in learning software engineering. However, it's been three years since I got interested in this field, and although I clearly understand I don't have an idea of how quite a few of these things work, which by itself is pretty funny, given the common understanding of how intelligent, skilled, and educated electrical engineers are, I think I got pretty good results. You know the first thing? It's the ThinkPad X230 Full HD Mod Kit, which I thought would be lucky if I sold 60 units, and so far I sold over 700. So about the second thing, there's a company named Altium which makes software for PCB designers. I attended one of their events back in 2018 and had a conversation with their managers before they told me about an idea of making an open source drone project for showcasing new features of their new release of Altium Designer. I work at a company that designs drones, and we agreed to discuss this in details. Long story short, it was a five month long project which was near impossible to complete in time. We were assigned to build two drones and showcase one of them on January 14th at Altium Live 2018 Summit in Munich. I was working days and nights to get the first prototype up and flying on December 30th, just before New Year. Even so, I had to solder two 22-pin, 0.5mm pitch camera connectors in a dark hotel room using a TS-100 soldering iron with an awkwardly long hacko tip, without a microscope and a light, and without a hot air station to remove the connector if I screw it up. And it ended up just fine. My job was to design a compact modular drone, a system which can be expanded with custom user hardware, for about three months was busy with schematic and layout of the eight-layer motherboard, which has a slot for Raspberry Pi compute module, two camera connectors, three micro SD card slots, two USB-A ports, four M.2 slots with a bunch of different interfaces for custom expansion cards, USB-C port with power delivery support, and a beefy DC to DC, which can deliver SIPS amps over each of its 3.3 and 5 volt power rails. This became the most complex PCB designed in our company, and also the first PCB which we didn't assemble ourselves by hand. If you ever ask yourself why you are doing this, the fridge magnet from Munich would be another reminder. You taught some guy from Russia to think, to solder, to repair motherboards, and to design motherboards from scratch. Thank you and have a nice day. Pavel, a.k.a. Nitrocaster. P.S. My English still kind of sucks, so please excuse me. Also, can you check out this link for some pictures of that drone project? Uh, and it's not clickable because this is written, so I will have to go in the web browser to find this. Altium Drone. Wow. Cool. Now, one of the recent videos I did was also on a gentleman named Tim of TCRS Circuit. He started watching my videos when he was about 16 years old. He opened his own store at 18 years old, and recently he managed to repair a board that a company that's been in business longer than he's been alive managed to destroy beyond recognition or working that he got working again in about a half hour. Now, this is the stuff that is, that is genuinely rewarding. And as much as I am excited and happy for what Tim has done working in the same industry that I'm in and getting to the top of his field in the same industry that I'm in, one of the feelings that's even that much better is when you realize that somebody's actually just genuinely surpassed you. And let's be real here. If you look at Nitrocaster's projects, if you look at what he did to take the, the ThinkPad and take it from its low resolution and create a hardware modification board that allows you to use a 1080p screen, it's it just change, uh, by uh, adding dis using additional display port lanes from the dock connector. That is, I couldn't, I would not figure that out if you gave me a year. And he figured out this stuff in his bedroom. So as cool as it is to meet people like Tim who have managed to become at the top of their field on that side of the country and do very well in the field that I'm in, What's really cool is when I find people like Nitrocaster that I have no idea why he's saying he's influenced by me because he's clearly smarter and able to do all this stuff on his own. Again, stuff like the ThinkPad, even the basic ThinkPad modification project, you could have given me a year. I would have never figured that out. He figured it out in days sitting in his, in his apartment. Or stuff like this drone here. I mean, this, this is all just way outside of, uh, of my pay grade. So it's really cool to realize this is the first time that people 
are that that are way smarter than me are watching this stuff and realizing, huh? If this dumbass can do it, then surely I can. Who go on to design things that are far more complicated than what I could ever imagine working on? That's really cool. And uh, you know, there are times where things don't go the way that I want them to go. There are times when I look at opening a new store and they're thinking, eh, you know, we don't really want to give you a lease. There are times when I ask my current real estate company if I could take the place next door, and they kind of give me the middle finger. There are times when I go to Chase Bank or any other bank and say. You know, would you be willing to give me a loan for even like 10% of what's in my business bank account? And they say no. And I kind of wonder, why am I doing all this? But times like this, I just, I just want to say that getting stuff, letters and stuff like this in the mail, this is the point. This is the stuff that makes it all worth it. I don't want you to think that I don't appreciate these letters when I get them just because I can't read all of them. Thank you very much. And yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that you learned something. And I hope for the best of success for your career going into the future. Good stuff. Thank you. Really. Thank you.